If you're a network marketer or affiliate marketer who struggle to bring your business online and create a profitable result, then this video is for you. These personal branding tips will help solve one of the most common problems that network marketer and a home business owner face, aside from lead generation, that find a way to stand out from thousands of reps who sell the exact same product and or services from them. What promoting your network marketing business online does open up a whole new world of the possibility in regards to the peer amount of people that you are connecting to and expose your business. The same principle that applies to offline marketing must be used on online marketing as well. You still need to form a genuine relationship, build trust, and build rapport so that you could generate more leads and make more product sales and bring on more new business partners. But the cool part though, by doing it online, allow you much more leveraging. And the best way to do so is through branding yourself. Hi, my name is Candace Bui Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I simplify things for entrepreneurs so they can get out of the learning mode and start taking the right action to build a profitable business through online marketing. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top six personal branding tips so that you could actually start attracting high quality prospect to you. Imagine waking up to an inbound full of people requesting more information about your business or asking you what you do. This is what a personal branding could do for your business over time. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. <music> Tips number one, be yourself. You might represent a company in the sense of that you're selling their product, but first and foremost, you must represent yourself. Create a blog that brand yourself. Make sure all of your social media accounts use your name and your image. You want them to truly reflect you and show your smiley face. There's no bigger turn off than having the company's logo or the product as your, your profile picture or banner. Immediately send people a message that you are trying to sell them something. To be honest, no one likes to be sold on. Unless you have asked them for permission, try to put yourself in someone else's shoes. How did you get started with your current company? Most likely you joined someone you knew and trust. And this is the vibe that you want to create. Tips number two, establish yourself as an expert in your niche. People tend to gravitate to or, or join people who know what they're doing and where they're going. The best way to achieve this is to share your story, your experience and your knowledge. For example, if you're in a health and wellness industry, share fitness tips, share recipe, share success um, weight loss story, and picture of you living in a healthy lifestyle. If you want to be the go-to person for lead generation and branding, then share the newest marketing strategy. Interview top leader in the industry of their success story on building business online. Share your success. Emerge yourself and be passionate about your niche so that you could actually provide value to the world. Emerge yourself and be passionate about the niche that you're in and share value to the world. The more you're consistently doing this, the more people will see you as the go-to person in that particular industry. Number three, be consistent creating contents and share value. Whether you believe it or not, people are watching you. They may not like every single post or every single video that you put it out there, but they watch you every single day in your business. The more you show up to your business every day, in regardless of the initial result you get, the more people will start taking you seriously and wanting to learn more about exactly what you're doing. Every time you learn something new or try something new relate to your niche, be sure to share that with others. This can be done through a blog post or a video or just a simple photo on Facebook. Anytime if you experience something that you find it valuable, know that there's plenty of people out there also find this to be valuable as well. So don't be afraid to share your experience with others. A very helpful tip when it comes to personal branding in terms of a content creation is to come up with a content creation marketing strategy. This can help you stay focused in consistently producing content that for your target market but also help you 
promote your that content in the most effective way. Number four, create a unique lead magnet or offer to give it to your ideal prospect. Always be sure to build that trust and report with your prospect before any this uh, any sales transaction. Far too many people just get off the gate instantly and pitching their product to every single person that they meet. But rather than approaching people with transaction mindset, focus on building a solid foundation, a solid relationship where you can provide value and services to those prospects, to those who you meet. One of the best ways to accomplish this is to providing a lead magnet. Basically, this is just a fancy term of you providing something valuable to your target market in exchange of their uh, email address and contact information. Here's some uh, simple lead magnet ideas that you could create. A video, uh, training video series, a PDF, or checklist, or uh, an ebook. Maybe one of the things that you could create is the PDF to show how people could actually gain uh, energy without taking pill. If you are in a makeup company, maybe you could create a guideline on how to apply makeup or maybe a video tutorial on Makeup 101. Whatever niche you're in, just think about your ideal prospect and what type of problem they have and then you just create a lead magnet to solve those problems for them. It is a win-win situation. You provide something valuable to give it away and they give you the, the contact information so that you could follow up. Tips number five, build and connect with your list to foster a strong relationship. As you may already heard, the fortune is in the follow-up. As you out there providing value and, and building that email list, it is important for you to make connecting with those people a habit. Write to your list when you have something valuable to share, like a video or a blog post. Another great idea to write to your list is when you are running something special or promotion that you know that it's going to benefit them. To make those relationships stronger, maybe you could consider utilizing customer relationship management so that you can take note on your prospect, your customer, or your business partner. A customer's relationship management is an essential tool to keep tracking of all the new relationship that you make so that you can follow up with them in the individual base. You can actually keep track of all of the communication and interaction that you have with this particular prospect, which will help you to sip and through people in order to find those who are perfect for your business. Now, tips number six. Focus on emotion and storytelling over feature. When it comes to actually promoting your products and your services, focus on storytelling. How does this product help you personally? What has the extra income specifically help you to achieve? People are emotional buyers. Rather than talk about all the products features, which people have heard it countless times, why not tap into your prospects hearts and emotion. Show them how something will make them feel. Paint a visual and emotional picture for them to see what these products and services could do for them. This will be far more effective and carry more power than just listen to a list of pre scripted benefit and feature. And that wraps up my six personal branding tips for building your network marketing business or affiliate marketing business online. As always, the key to learning is implementation. So try these techniques out and let me know how it go. Come back and let me know how it go. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Share this video to whatever social media platform you're on. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn, click that bell so you can turn on that notification. If you're new to my YouTube channel, be sure to drop in the comments to say hi so that I could welcome you to my community.